In an unknown place, a voice echoed saying that the last dungeon had been cleared. The building that looks very big and magnificent suddenly bursts into flames and catches fire. There was a scream saying that the dungeon would collapse soon. Everyone present was asked to run away because if they faltered even for a second, they could die. Monsters that are still alive continue to chase and scream for them to die. Kill all the lowly human Cretans that destroy our dwellings! The warriors who were running were even more frantic as the countless monsters were chasing them at breakneck speed and were about to catch them. Explosion after explosion continued. At that time, suddenly a fighter decided to turn around, making his comrades very surprised. He intended to hold all the monsters by himself. That person's name is Seo Munyob. Even though his friends tried to prevent his actions, because they were running out of time, they were forced to leave Seo Munyob alone. In his last moment, Seo Munyob ordered, If you all survive, make sure you get to work on my biography. Behind the story of this struggle, humans do not realize that they are not the only sentient creatures on Earth. Underworlders are people who live in an underground civilization. It is a civilization very different from that built by humans who are above the ground. Due to the sudden invasion of the underground civilization, humanity is facing a crisis. On the verge of annihilation, humanity tries to strike back, but no human weapons can harm them because they have mystical powers that are even able to withstand attacks from military weapons. But not long after that, the conditions began to change. The mystical power possessed by underworlders begins to have an effect on humans, and those affected turn into superhumans who have mystical powers. That way humanity finds their weapons to fight the invaders from the underground civilization. By subduing the cold-blooded monsters containing the underworlders one by one, humanity once again has the hope to live. Finally, in the spring of 2005, the seven strongest humans decided to join forces and carry out an attack on the final dungeon that became the foundation of the underground civilization to end the long war. Because of their accomplishments, they are remembered as heroes who saved civilization. They are given immense wealth and popularity for their expedition. However, there was one person who did not return, namely Seo Munyob, the leader of the Seven Heroes. He is the only person who didn't come back to celebrate the peace that human has fought for and died, leaving behind nothing but a name echoed around the world as the legend who has saved humanity from destruction. Seventeen years have passed. At this time, an International Battlefield League match was held between South Korea against France. In that match, France continued to pressure Korea with one of their strongest players, Nathan Bernard, who continued to slaughter Korean players one by one with ease. He killed six students from South Korea alone. Thus, South Korea was defeated without having the time to strike back. Nathan Bernard is a superhuman ranked third in battlefield history. Now he is facing the last player from South Korea, Baek Hayeon. Even though South Korea's chances of turning things around were almost gone, Baek Hayeon tried her best to attack, but Nathan easily dodged and counterattacked all of her skills, and finally, the last South Korean player was defeated. With this, the game is over, and South Korea received a crushing defeat. Nathan Bernard was selected as the MPV in that game. He became a frightening specter for South Korea. During the game, he managed to score seven kills and brought this match to France's victory with a perfect score, 11-0. Someone said it's a shame that even though South Korea is filled with the best superhumans who have defeated countless monsters during the war, they couldn't keep up with the times. This is an embarrassing result for a country that had produced two heroes who had saved humanity from the underworlders, Seo Munyob and Baek Jeho. Netizens' scathing comments started piling on the internet, and the audience there also started to get angry. They couldn't watch such rubbish matches. Bik Jeho, who is one of the seven heroes, is now the head coach of the South Korean national team. Seeing the crushing defeat that his beloved country faced, he can only sigh. This was the third defeat his country has received since he became the head coach of the national team. As the audience said, Everyone except Hayeon was just an ordinary person. Korean superhumans are famous for being notoriously strong. 
But all that is in the past. Their mentality and skills are now very disappointing. With this fact, those with talent had already left the country or died. Beck Jeho, who left the arena, proceeded to walk towards the coach's waiting room. When he got there, he stared at the photos of the seven heroes stuck on the wall. He sighed, wishing that his best friend, Munyob, is still alive. After that, another person come into the room and tell him that the reporters were already waiting for the interview. Beck Yeho immediately left. He intends to apologize to the public because they are the ones who had made him a coach. Beck Yeho has given up. It's impossible to win with a team like that. The person who is accompanying him tries to prevent him from giving up. After all, Beck Jeho only become a coach just a while ago. However, he is unfazed. He has already decided he will announce his resignation in this interview unless Seo Munyob returns. In the middle of this, Beck Jeho's cell phone rang. It was the president of the association who called him. So, of course, he answered the call. The chairman asked, Have you heard the news? Sighing, Beck Jaiho prepared himself for the lectures that is going to come. That our national team has lost and disgraced our country? I witnessed it with my own eyes, he dryly replied. However, the chairman was not talking about that. As he explained the news he saw to Beck Jaiho, the expression on the hero's face instantly changed, and his eyes widened at this unexpected news. The square has a statue to commemorate the three heroes. The first is for Admiral Yi Sun Shin, the second is for King Sejong the Great, and the third is for a man who 17 years ago saved the six heroes by sacrificing himself, Seo Moon Yob. A while ago, after the International Gotopia League match ended, someone fell from the sky right on the statue of the hero Seo Moon Yob. That person was wearing armor and had an appearance that is a very carbon copy of the statue he has destroyed. Apparently the news that Beck Jeho replied is about this, Seo Munyob has come back to life. After Seo Munyob decided to sacrifice himself so that his friends could survive, the gates of the world finally closed. With this, all the monsters in the vicinity surrounded him. In front of these unending waves of various kinds of underworlders, Seo Munyob doesn't falter. Facing the monster, his eyes glinted with unbreakable resolve. Let's fight to the death! The scene then turned back to the present. Seo Munyob opened his eyes. He was already in a hospital. After being explained by the nurse who cared for him, he was shocked because the day he woke up was already in 2022. Seo Munyob was sure that he entered the final dungeon in 2005. The nurse tried to comfort him and said that it must be very confusing for him. She then proceeded to turn on the TV and told him to watch the news first. The news on television said that Seo Munyob, the leader of the seven heroes who was previously reported to have died, has now returned after 17 years and is currently being treated in the hospital. The hero Seo Munyob fell from the ceiling of the square and was found unconscious in front of his statue. While he was unconscious, it was reported that he did not suffer any serious injuries. He was wearing the same equipment when he entered the dungeon in 2005, and he is most likely still a superhuman, as his appearance has remained the same and has not changed over the 17 years. Some experts speculate that this may be caused by the distortion of space and time. After hearing the news, Seo Munyob realized 17 years had passed, but he felt he had only been there for a few days. Therefore, the world is in an uproar now. Reporters and journalists had gathered outside the hospital, trying to catch a glimpse of the legendary hero. He thought that even though it had been 17 years, those bastards are still the same. After looking at himself in the mirror, Seo Munyob realizes that he hasn't aged at all. Is it possible that space and time distortions do occur? There's no way he could survive 17 years in there. It's unprecedented. Then Seo Munyob remembers the most important thing in his life, namely the savings he's accumulated throughout his life. The nurse explained that just like what Seo Munyob wrote in his will, everything was donated to a child protection agency. His house has become a museum, and his car was sold at an antique auction. Thus, he has nothing to his name. Hearing that explanation, Seo Munyob was surprised and helpless. For him, it was only for a few days since he has gone but now he has become a homeless man who had nothing. 
Seeing his expression, who was desperate like that, the nurse tried to calm him down. She said to not worry about it. Sio Munyob is a hero who had saved the world. No one will abandon him. The fact is that Mr. Bayek Jeho immediately contacted the hospital when he heard the news and said he would be coming soon. Before leaving, the nurse reminded Seo Munyob to just ring the bell if he needs something. Seo Munyob is still amazed by this situation. Even though he saw it with his own eyes, he still couldn't believe it. He felt that he could ask Bek Jeho later. First, Seo Munyob had to check the condition of his body first. He then activated one of his superpowers, Scanner Eyes, an ability where the user can recognize and visualize the talents and abilities of living things. This is the superpower that helps him become the strongest superhuman in the world. Those eyes not only could look at current abilities, but also their dormant potential. Because of that, Beck Jeho wanted to become his pupil. At first, Seo Munyob thought he was weak, but after scanning him with his eyes, Beck Jeho has a super high potential, and with these eyes, Munyob helped Jeho to become one of the seven heroes. With this in mind, Seo Munyob activated the scanner eyes and see that almost all of his stats were at their max. But there is one stat that exceeds the maximum limit, namely the focus stat, which reaches 110, the maximum of which is only 100. Seo Munyob also gets a skill that he did not have before, namely immortality, which made him immune to death from physical attacks. Seo Munyob was surprised because he got this overpowered skill. He realized that since skill can be obtained in certain situations, maybe he got this skill because of the all-out battle 17 years ago. However, getting this skill when the war was over was a bit sad. If only he got it earlier. As he was thinking about that, Bake Jeho arrived at Seo Munyob's room. He looked at him in disbelief, and tears started to fill up in his eyes. Grinning at his old friend, Seo Munyob said, You have gotten a lot weaker. Seeing his friend was still the same, Bek Jeho wiped his tears and then smiled. It's because this world is too peaceful, he replied. As the full moon lit up the sky, the two friends were seen standing on the roof of the hospital. Seo Munyob jokingly said, Hey, Bek Jeho, are you done crying? Bek Jeho replied, Just wait till you get old. I'm telling you the tears just start spilling out. Seo Munyob laughed. I'm still young, so I have no idea about that. Anyway, did you keep your promise? Bek Jeho was confused. What promise? Seo Munyob said, Of course, my biography. Bek Jeho replied, Oh, about that. I hired a ghostwriter. They are famous for making fantasy novels. There are also documentaries and films about you. They even made your history look like a mythological story. Although the plots were pretty bad, they all went viral. Hearing Bek Jeho's explanation, Seo Munyob looked at the scene in front of him and then said, What does that matter? I thought I died in a dungeon, but I woke up in a hospital. Seventeen years passed and the world was filled with something I've never seen before. I'm sure all of this is not an illusion, but still it feels like I've been dreaming. Plus, even though I have saved the world, I'm just a poor homeless person. Hearing the heartfelt words coming out of Seo Munyob's mouth, Bek Jeho then said, that's what friends are for. If you need money, just say so. Munyob smiled. He said, Looks like you live well, huh? You must have made a lot of money in these 17 years. Are you starting a business or something? Bake Jeho answered, I got some money from raiding dungeons, and after the war was over, I got some rewards. I had to make use of them. Seo Munyob said it's strange. Even though you have a lot of money, how can this business not collapse if it's led by someone like you? Seo Munyob's words really cut to the heart, Bek Jeho said. I hate to admit it, but I handed over the leadership to the experts. Seo Munyob said, oh, so that's what it means. You don't have a job, do you? Bek Jeho explained that he had other things he was working on, which was being the head coach of the national team. Seo Munyob was confused, and instead of explaining it at length, Bek Jeho took out his cell phone and told him to see the video on his cell phone. After seeing the video, Seo Munyob realized that these were the dungeons that they have previously raided together. He was confused. Didn't they all disappear? Bek Jeho explained that it's an artificial reality sport called Battlefield. 
They enter virtual reality and use it as an arena for the two teams to fight each other. This type of sport can be said to be a sport that uses superhumans who don't have jobs anymore because the world is now peaceful. This sport had the most popular sports, but in Sio Munyob's eyes, it was just like an ordinary youth fight. Beck Jeho said, in fact, there are no great players whose strength is equal to the seven heroes and the world championship can also make a country's dignity. Seo Munyab said, oh, I see, so what is South Korea's position? Baek Jeho was struck by Seo Munyab's question. But say, are you going deaf because you are getting old? What position is South Korea? Even though our position is low, we still have many strong people, right? Trivial exercise like this should not be a big deal. Baek Jeho said it, but said anyway. Actually, South Korea is in last place. Hearing that, Seo Munyob was immediately surprised. This is beyond his imagination. After Seo Munyob was discharged from the hospital, Seo Munyob was in the car on his way to Beck Jeho's house while driving. He explained when the great disaster had disappeared from this world. The next calamity will come to those who fall first in this world. That's why the country became weak in the battlefield. After the war ended, many of the superiors with superhuman powers. They were afraid that that power would be a double-edged sword for them. That's why the battlefield regulations in this country were very strict, and they spread propaganda that superpower would only cause destruction. They tried to control Seo Munyob, the powerful people in their country, likewise with Bayek Jeho. After hearing Bek Jeho's explanation, but understanding Seo Munyob's words, he said, all the strong Korean superhumans at that time were almost recruited by citizens of other countries to become players or coaches. Even though when he was still there, there were also many people who tried to take advantage of us by using all kinds of ways. I should have just stomped their feet that time. But Seo Munyo berated everyone being a police officer to the president because he was so angry. They blatantly wanted to take advantage of him. He had also held back against those who only said much because those people's average player level in his country was very low. So before Baek Jeho finished his sentence, Seo Munyob immediately rejected him. Seo Munyob had guessed where Baek Jeho's words meant. Baek Jeho definitely wants to drag it along. It's still in prime condition, isn't it a shame not to use it? But said I would not waste it. So don't worry, I don't want to live as a superhuman anymore. My life as a living superhuman ended with epic in the finale. Baek Jeho said, you don't need to fight with curving that material anymore. It's just a sport. Seo Munyob replied, I've never felt anything like carrying a burden or looking like someone who is responsible for someone else's sake. I fought to save myself when I was young and for the honors and prizes they gave me when I became a human. Isn't it time for me to enjoy some alone time? Plus, if I did decide to join the battlefield, the mass media would be in an uproar. They will have high expectations and depend on me again. Not that I'm not interested at all. I just hate being a clown watched by many people. In the end, Beck Jeho didn't praise Seo Munyob anymore. He had to give it up. But Seo Munyob said he thinks Korean superhumans aren't too bad. Seo Munyob pointed to a billboard that was plastered on the side of the road. How is there a superhuman woman who became the star of a perfume ad? Munyob was surprised that his country still has a superhuman like that. Her eyes are really sexy, especially her body. Jeho suddenly said flatly, That's my daughter. He was very surprised to hear those words. Seo Munyob said, Isn't she six years old? Baek Jeho still coldly replied that it had been 17 years and now she is 23 years old. Seo Munyob looked really awkward. After that, it didn't feel like their journey had arrived at the destination of Baek Jeho's house. When they got there, Baek Jeho's wife, who was also superhuman, immediately greeted them. He said, Wow, it's been a long time, Mr. Yob. It's nice to see you again. Seo replied, Yes, even though it was only a week for me. They exchanged pleasantries for a while. After that, Seo Munyob realized that now his Seo Munyob felt very real. Yes. It was back to a peaceful world where there were no monsters. What to do now? Finally, Seo Munyab decided that he would enjoy life as an unemployed pro at Beck Jeho's house. He only watched soap operas. In fact, he intended to rewatch all the soap operas he missed from 2005. Beck Jeho, who overheard Seo Munyob saying he would watch all of that, 
immediately approached Seo Munyab. He asked if he would only watch soap operas. Seo Munyab answered, yes, why? Didn't you say yesterday that you would let me? So why are you making a fuss now? If you are free to do anything. He opened the curtains of his window first to continue, but the reporters had already gathered here for several days. They said they wouldn't go home before seeing Seo Munyob. After seeing the crowd outside, but said it was crowded, you reporter who likes to make a fuss. Seo Munyob got up and sat down, he said, prepare all the reporters. Tomorrow we'll have to gather them all in one place and tell them to get out of life from now on. The next day, Beck Jeho immediately prepared all of that. Previously, the reporter thought they had to stay in front of his house for one month, but this was sooner than expected. Rumor has it that person will destroy everything if he doesn't like something. Will the meeting be okay, huh? Moments later, the press conference began. But saying first, as you guys can see him back, I was also surprised, but maybe you guys were more surprised. Seeing Seo Munyub say so calmly that Beck Jaiho thought the press conference would go smoother than he expected. But seeing its frontal nature, it feels like there will be something strange. But continuing, however, with all the attention you guys are giving me, I'm not happy at all. Ask everything you want to ask now and leave my life. Raise your hand to ask. One person, one question. A reporter asked, How did you get out and back from the danger final? Seo replied, I don't know either. When I woke up, I was already in a hospital. That's all I can answer. Another reporter asked, Have you had this in these 17 years? Seo Moon Yob replied, no, to me, 2005 is still how many days ago? Another reporter asked, Have you contacted the seven other heroes' friends? He replied, Not yet. And I'm not close to them either. Another reporter also asked, Do you have any plans to reclaim your wealth? He replied, Of course not. Then the bald reporter asked, If you must have heard about rock film from the head coach, then what if you have the intention to become a player? Seo Munyob answered, of course not because it's unattractive, the bald reporter sneered. It must be because you're afraid of failure. Yes, Seo Munyab replied. The only thing that failed here was your head that failed to hold your hair. Seo Munyob's words made everyone there laugh. Then he explained he had absolutely no interest in the battlefield. He also did not find joy in the sport. So don't expect him to be your entertainment clown. He hoped that their curiosity about Seo Munyob would be satisfied. When he walked away and Beck Yeho was about to close the press conference, suddenly a reporter asked one more question. The reporter asked, Yesterday the player said something he said the seven heroes are nothing and they can't even scratch. What's his opinion on this? Walker is a battlefield star from America. He is also called America's pride tank. Seo Munyob asked, Then what is the strongest screenwalker? The reporter explained that there are three of the greatest players on Battlefield at the moment. The first is Nathan Bernard from France. The second is Roy Mayer from Ireland. And the third is Daniel Monster from Germany. Walker is indeed a great player, but he has not yet reached the top spot. Seo Munyob cut his words off. He said, really, even though it's been 17 years, someone like that, if he just can't get the top three rankings or whatever, don't talk too much. If you want to meet me, don't make it. Come manly to meet me. I will bury you in my yard with my own hands. He raised his middle finger at the camera. We turn to America. A man named Jackery Ubud, an American player battlefield agent watching a press conference broadcast conducted by Seo Munyob, together with player Gareth Walker. The video ends with Gerard Walker seeing Seo Munyob's challenge with his middle finger, which made Gerald Walker furious. His anger rose to the point that the TV remote he was holding shattered. He immediately asked finally the South Koreans showed their fangs. Right then and there at the beginning of this video, he is surprised to receive a call telling him there's an emergency. Image A is an official international match between countries. Even though the match was sudden, it was Beck Jeho who was unwilling to accept it. Meanwhile, Seo was watching a soap opera. Feeling disturbed, Beck Jeho's conversation on the phone told him to get out of the room. After he finished taking the call, Beck told Seo Munyob that it was all his fault, because Seo Munyob had offended Walker before. He was apparently angry after being humiliated by Seo Munyob in public. Maybe he was sensitive about the problem of Seo Munyob, 
who said that if he couldn't possibly rise from the top three, he wanted to face Seo Munyab. But since Seo Munyab didn't play Battlefield, it seems he wants to fight Team Korea instead. But even though Beck had explained it, Seo Munyab still didn't care and would still be lazy. Budget can't say anything about it and can only complain. But suddenly, Seo Munyob realized that if they want to have a match between national teams, it means Hyun is also there, right? A few moments later, someone entered the house, while surprised by the sound of someone who had just entered sleep. But after he saw who had come in, everyone fell silent. It turned out that the person who entered was Bek Hyun, son of Bek Yeho. She came home early because she heard that her uncle was at home. She asks her mother then where is he? Her mother says he is in the living room. Bek Hayon and her mother looked toward the living room. Seo Munyob, who had been lying down before, sat up and greeted Hayon. Bek Hayon immediately smiled, and she ran and jumped on her uncle. She said, I was afraid you would forget me. He only answered, how could it be that I used to always play with you? Hayon replied, I love the pastries and chocolates you always brought with you at that time, uncle. Mother and father never gave me that. Seo Munyob said, but you are already big, huh? Some say that kids grow up fast, so you came back because of the image, right? She just replied, no, I came here to see uncle. That's just an extra. But uncle, there is something I want to ask. Is uncle really not interested in the battlefield? Munyob replied, did Beck Jeho make you like that? I'm not at all interested in that. Then she asked, why? With serious eyes pointed at the television, he said, Your uncle has a lot of things to do. Even if you ask him, I won't do it. Bek Hayan just pursed her lips. She says, You changed uncle, whereas previously uncle always granted my request. Now I see it's no longer true. Seo Munyob replied, Yes, but the request at that time was only for snacks. Sighing, Bek Hayan said, Okay, I have another request. I have to do an avatar dissociation check. Can uncle come with me? Seo Munyab replied, What is that? It sounds complicated. Trying to act pitiful, Bek Hayon tries to convince him, Please come for my sake, uncle. Dad said he was too busy so he couldn't accompany me. Finally, because Seo Munyob couldn't stand Hayon's eyes that were so sad, he decided to accompany her. A while later, the two of them had arrived at the Korean Association. The two of them were immediately guided into a room. Association members will help to do test avatars. Call it the glasses. Bek Hayon entered into a connection module. After checking his armor and weapons, Bek Hayon was immediately connected to Battlefield. Seo Munyob and the glasses guy could see Bek Hayon on a large monitor in front of them. After that, Hayon asked to be given a monster to warm up, seeing monsters that appeared so easily but said, Oh, so they can do things like this too, huh? The glasses explained, it's true that this is a reality sport using the association's special technology. They can recreate ninja monsters, and players are virtual reality. That was the reason why players participating for the first time had to come to the association first to make an avatar. He replied, mm, It does look very real. Maybe he wants to see how far we go. The spy who was dealing with a monster. When the monster attacked, it immediately dodged. With his whip, he tied the monster's neck, then jumped over the monster. Then finish him off with one strike, because the avatar sync rate has been confirmed. Heyon immediately left the battlefield. After leaving, he immediately asked his uncle, How was the fight earlier? Seo Munyob gave a thumbs up. He says it's not bad either, although he still has a lot to learn. Beck Heyon was a bit annoyed to answer. Why don't you try it too, uncle? No one told you to play. I just asked you to try the test alone. Besides that, I'm also curious. I heard from Dad that Uncle is very strong, so I want to see for myself. When I was old enough to see you fight, you were gone. Seeing Hyun who got to them like that, Seo Munyob also agreed, he would do just this for Hyun's sake. Smile for real and thank you for that. Hearing their conversation, the glasses said, Does Mr. Summon want to try it? Usually they did the avatar test after confirming many things from the step layer, but since Seo Munyob didn't really want to get into the game, he thought he could just start the test. He asks, so I just need to sign in? The glasses answered that Mr. Seo Munyob entered the connection module in such a state that his avatar would appear empty-handed. First of all, he has to have a weapon. 
but it really looks like he's struggling to carry the weapon that Seo Munya will use. After holding the weapon, his friend said, This is different from what he used to use. It's too light, even though it's big. The glasses explained that what he was holding was standard equipment in the battlefield between players, usually using custom equipment, but since this was a test room, they only had standard equipment. If Mr. Seo Munyab feels uncomfortable, he can report to make Mr. Seo Munyab something else. Seo Munyab threw away his shield. He said, No, is it okay for a spear to be enough? This is also quite annoying, so let's get started right away. Seo Munyab immediately entered the connection module. He guessed he should check what the battlefield was like. After the system takes Taemon's body and weapon, will it be made based on the information obtained? When Seo Munyob opened his eyes, the glasses explained that he was now in a virtual area which was a replication of the real trial area. Doesn't seem to be found. Error sinking between avatar and main body. Seo Munyob felt that the taste was quite similar to reality. After seeing the explanation from the glasses as well, it was Hyun who encouraged him, but asked the glasses to bring out the monster. The glasses complied and took out a monster for him. Seo Munyob knew was a lowly monster, but a bit different from the ones he fought before. The glasses explained, Tuan Seo the monster is an egg that can only be hurt by using aura. However, the monster they prepared was the strongest monster of its species. Based on the data, they said, it's useless for me to carry a spear. My friend threw the spear away. When the egg cell was right within his reach with a flick of a finger, Seo Munyob immediately killed him. Seeing that high on Dan the glasses can only gape, they were very surprised by Seo Munyob's strength. Seo Munyob said, Just this much? The glasses said, Even diesel fuel is not that strong of a monster, but still it's a monster that can't be defeated by just snapping fingers. He immediately asked the sub-district head to bring out one more monster because this time he was trying something. But think so it's no different from the real world? He thought he could try that in a place like this. But he said, even though you said that, the one you said earlier was starting to be the strongest in his species. In his opinion, it was the same as being too weak, so he couldn't warm up properly. But what else could he do? Before he finished his sentence, suddenly someone spoke in English. The person said, yeah, which means, Yes, the nickname of the strongest superhuman model. How could you be satisfied with a bank? Seo Munyob thinks English. On the other hand, the glasses are panicking because someone is trying to connect to it using an external module. Suddenly, in the virtual area where is is, from above appears a person with an axe and also a large shield with a tattoo on his bald head. Gerald, I came here because you asked. Why are you silent, dog? Are you scared and surprised because you think I won't come? Even with the seven heroes, or even eight heroes, I will prove that your reputation is bullshit. Gerald immediately lunged at him, but his attack missed Seo Munyob. When Gerald was looking for where Sue was, but said, I'm scared because of you. It's impossible. I just thought it would be fun. He moved so fast that Gerald couldn't follow his movement. He, in an instant, circled Gerald from behind, then was in front of Gerald. Back on the other side, the glasses and Hayan, who were confused, suddenly heard someone say from behind them. The person said, Don't worry, I let him in. When Glasses and Chiron turned around, his father Beck Jeho and association chairman and manager Gerald Walker walked towards them. The chairman of the Korean Battlefield Association Park Ginte explained this. Seo Munyob has been talked about, but I don't think I have told you yet. I'm sorry that's enough because manager Emang Mouse, manager Gerald Walker said, I thank you for your cooperation, Mr. Chairman. Our request is quite difficult. He said the man owed me a lot when he came to his senses. Maybe he could still speak. But actually, Park Jinte thinks he should be the one thanking him for this opportunity. Seo Munyob might be interested in battlefield. We turn back to Seo Munyob, who is fighting with Gerald the Walker. After a bit of mechanic clashing, he realized this man he was better than he thought temporarily activate the skill Ice of Analysis. After seeing the statistics, but the pranks and suggestions reached 100, maybe Gerald really specializes as a tank and his talent willpower is 87. Previously, Seo Munyob thought that Gerald was an ID human player, hot-tempered, but it seems he has the strength to support his stupidity. Looking at Seo Munyob, who kept watching him move, said, Why did you stop? 
and why do you keep looking at me? Before smiling. He thought that every contest he felt was usually strong. If someone like him existed 17 years ago, he and his friends would probably take him to the height of his superpower, which is also very suitable for his abilities as a tenger. When he opened his eyes at the hospital, he wanted to try the superpower against solar tires, but it looks like Samoon will just try on him. After thinking about that, Seo Munyob immediately shot forward towards Gerald because he thought that that's all I could see you stupid, immediately swinging his axe. But at that moment, Gerald realized that it stopped right in front of him, before Seo Munyob was hit by a viral axe attack. But smiled, he said, I'll show you something very interesting. Seo Munyob was sent flying backwards by the attack. On the other hand, only realizing Seo Munyob's movements, he asked, Uncle, just keep quiet. Why did you accidentally get hit by his attack and instead die? He heard Beck Hayon's question. Gerard also thought the same. Seo stopped right in front of him and didn't dodge at all as if he wanted to die on purpose. When Seo Munyob people think about what Seo Munyob is actually planning, but said, Ah, Beck Yeho was hurt more than I thought. Suddenly, a spear shot towards Gerald from the smoke garden where Seo Munyob fell. Luckily, he noticed the hit attack and managed to avoid it. But the question is, why is he still alive? He should have died with the previous attack that was as strong and without any defense. After a puff of smoke, it is gone. Seo Munyob coughed. He said this is crazy. They also made the fast feel very real. Even those Seo Munyob who were outside who witnessed their fight couldn't close. Next, due to the overwhelming shock but still alive after receiving a direct hit from such a strong Gerald. Even counterattacked with his spear, but smiled, then said, Tada, how did I tell you? I will show you something very interesting. They couldn't believe what they were seeing, but were still alive after being hit by an attack like earlier. Why? Seo Munyob explained that he got an extraordinary superpower when he almost died in the dungeon, so basically now he is immortal. He thinks his trial was successful, not only not dying, but also healing his wounds. But said to the glasses who were outside, he can't die because of the superpower he got from the final. Even though Yusio Munyob don't believe that such power exists, and Salmon feels it's unfair to use it there. Maybe his nature can keep his power there or something? The glasses replied he was not difficult to prevent that power. Then Sio Munyob said, Okay, just seal the immortal superpower that way. The glasses immediately sealed the immortal superpower as Sio Munyob requested. Sio Munyob shouldn't be able to use it. Now it's the turn of confusion to ask what is immortal item. Seo Munyob replied, yes, it is a new power, so I want to try it. But if I use immortal here, there must be many reasons. If I lose, Gerud takes the spear that Seo Munyob previously told me about. He gave it back, saying that it was indeed as arrogant as it was rumored to be now. I wonder if your skills are indeed as described. After receiving the spear, but said, of course it's not as rumored because I'm stronger than that. Gerald said I will prove myself, so let's fight. Had no more reason to dodge, but instead answered defeat, it first warned Gates or whatever. You can't directly fight the strongest person. Of course I pity you. I heard I can't even break into the top three rankings. Hearing those words, Gerald could no longer remain silent. He again lunged at Seo Munyob from the front, and they again clashed mechanically in the middle of fighting the mechanics but returning to make very fast movements, but suddenly got behind the title and went straight for it. But Gerald was still able to respond well and quickly to his attacks, even though his mid-range was blocked by his shield, but thought it wasn't bad until the response was like that. But he felt it was time to end this. Sama took a swing and immediately threw his spear despite the title managed to hold it. Gerald thought he was deliberately aiming for Cece, who he was protecting with his shield. The spin of his spear and change of direction before hitting the enemy overwhelming control. So this is the strength of the leader of the seven heroes? He claims that he has already won. Gerald said still no. The spear just grazed me. I'm still not dead. Seo Munyob replied that it was because I did that on purpose. Why are you even arrogant because I pity? You can't win against me wielding a shield that big, Gerald asked. What do you mean? 
You don't need a shield that big, and when you're smaller, your senior is giving advice because I can only say that your line of sight is blocked by your big shield. It makes having a lot of blind spots. I know why you chose my big wife so if you can withstand attacks while looking around in the middle of a fight. But that is still not enough. It will only be your weakness against very strong and fast enemies like this, who can take advantage of that to attack your blind spots, so switch to a smaller shield by looking at your stats control and your next trade could work in your favor. Gerald asked, You're not lying, are you? Seo Munyob replied, Why did he have to lie to her? He can beat himself without having to trick him stupid. Although reluctant to admit it finally, Gerard thought he would try it. Beck Jeho, who saw this, shook his head roughly because Seo taught him even though Gerald was his opponent. But said the rest is up to you, that's all I can say, so I will go. It's time to continue watching soap operas. Oh yeah, because I taught you well, don't forget to pay later, we will answer okay. But I have a condition. I want to fight you one more time, so fight with image codes in two weeks. Seo Munyab replied. Is it okay? Didn't I tell you that I'm not interested in the battlefield? I still have to direct a lot of soap operas. Whatever, I don't need your money. Gerald said he would pay for it or give him anything if Seo Munyab wanted to fight. But Seo Munyab still chuckled with his stance, and they continued to argue for a while. Those outside could only see what was happening, but it was different from the chairman of the association. Yes, Mr. Jinte. He suddenly had a good idea having seen the ridiculousness of it. A few moments passed, Seo Munyob was busy watching his favorite soap opera, but suddenly the soap opera was paused by an emergency news. The news stated that Mr. Seo Munyob had previously said he would not be playing Battlefield. But we got reports saying that in the two recent games between Boyo and player Gerald Walker, there was talk of changing his decision. The sound we got from the duel was not very clear, but the anonymous who sent the video said that if you can't beat the team Korea 11-0 in the match, Image will participate in the friendly match between Korea and America that will be held afterwards. That was his statement, and the source also explained that Mr. Seo Munyob himself had agreed to the agreement. The video was ended by Seo Munyob. He got up from his bed. He looked very upset. She says what when I say something like that? At the Korean Method Association, Seo Munyob went straight to the chairman of the Park Jinte Association. Seo Munyob banged the table angrily. He asked, How did he happen, old man? Whoever said that? I'm going to kill him right now so that he's over here right now, and what the fuck is the point of this video? They edited the scene when I refused the invitation. I will also kill the person who spread this video. Hearing the chatter of Seo Munyob, Park Jinte, got up from his seat. He said, first of all, regarding this incident, which has made the savior of this world, I, as the president of the association, apologize. Park Jinte showed his head in front of Seo Munyob with his helpless face, said Gerald also brought about the socialization of the United States as the weak president of the Republic of Korea. I couldn't do them, there was pressure from the authorities, and I'm really sorry. Not only as a president, but as a hyung as well, but he awkwardly looked at Park Jin Tae and found his head happy to say, I understand the situation that is happening to you, but I, before Seo Munyob finished his sentence, Pak suddenly stood up and held Seo Munyob's shoulder. He said, Even so, Mon, don't worry, I already have a good plan. So if you don't have to worry about this problem, only if the American team can beat the Korean team in image with a score of 11, zero without a single death, then the friendly match against Seo Munyob will be held so the score in the battle is according to the number of players who survived. When the match ended, Park Jin Tae entered that requirement. After he told them that they wouldn't be able to catch Seo Munyob's attention if they weren't that strong, and they kept the requirements true, that from the Korean team they were quite low, but their level had never been to the point where they couldn't kill one in a match. As usual, Seo Munyob didn't care about any of that, but looks very upset. He had said from the start that he wasn't interested in bat or anything like that. But why is Seo Munyob people keep bothering him? Park Jin Tae kept on persuading Seo Munyob by using a desperate face instead of a lazy face, ending with a short sentence that we have known for a long time, because I'm just this once. After being cajoled constantly like that, if it wasn't for Seo Munyob feeling indebted to his body, he would have refused.
But Seo Munyob finally agreed, but only this time. He smiled secretly and even wanted to kiss Seo Munyob's cheek. But Seo Munyob was disgusted. Of course he didn't let that. Seo Munyob made sure he really wouldn't join if the Korean team could kill an American player, even if only one. Seo Munyob won't give in, even if Mr. Jintin cries to him. Park Jin Tae, and patted his chest, he said, ah, Of course, no matter what happens, I will keep my promise. After Tuesday, I discussed it. Janate asked him to eat. Of course, Mr. Jintin would treat him. As he walked out of the room, thinking he will definitely keep his promise, but he apologized in advance from the report of the results of the previous Korea vs. America match. Korea has never been able to kill a single American. A few moments passed, Seo Moon Yob, like he was watching his favorite soap opera, but that day was not as usual. The news, of course, shows that he will participate in the next NMAX. Of course, the news makes SEO headache. He cannot watch soap operas as usual. Finally reached the end, but could not watch the soap opera so he walked out of the house. Accidentally, he heard something when he was bored he saw Budge was training Beck Hyun. He trained Hare to improve his mobility. Because of his position as a sub-dealer, Seo Munyob was curious and tried to see Hyun start high enough. But he had already reached the limit of his talent, plus the speed and mysteriousness limit was not as high as Beck Jeho when he was young. It was impossible for Beck Jeho to give the result that Beck Jeho wanted. But the limits of her pranks and trends unreasonably put Hyon, who was in the dealer's position even though such a training method was useful for Budge, that method really didn't suit Hyon. Seo Munyob walked up to them, happy to think that Baek Hyon was the ace of the Korean team. Under these circumstances, there was a chance they wouldn't be able to kill any Americans. Only noticing approaching, he asked if Uncle saw me practicing. Seo Munyob replied, Yes, looks like you don't need to do excretion training anymore. But Baek Jeho denied it. He said no. Mon Hyeon is still lacking. Felt that Baek Hyeon still had to train him more. He explained, Baek Jeho Baek Hyeon is not you. You can stop doing the exercises to improve his silence and reactions. Things that seem to be lacking because he was worse than you when you were young. Hyeon had already attained the same form as her skill in using the thing that also had the same superpower as this one. So you try for dealers like you, but you two are different. What are you going to do after you catch someone with your hail? Just answer, of course I'll pull to change their balance or throw them at my partner. After catching them, said, it's your own fault that you have to finish them off inefficiently. To follow Beck Jeho's fighting style and become the sugar of the East was worse and couldn't be like that. You won't have a partner who can help you finish them off. So what's important now is that strong and superman sip you have to finish them off with your sword right away. We'll visit this time so paying close attention is not difficult. Seo Munyob took Hayon's sword and whip. Seo Munyob took a stance in front of a practice usable bag. Seo Munyob swinging his whip. As soon as the whip that caught the opponent injured them with your sword, Seo Munyob jumped and slashed the bag. After that, Seo Munyob said, did you see because those who can't kill using guava need to be proficient with swords using guava? That's why Hyun needs strength and super training from now on. Hyun's position will be replaced from the dealer's corner. Do you understand? Coach Baek Hyun and Baek Jae Ho answered with, uh ha. Seo Moon Yob said, now shall we do 500 sets of basic prank exercises? How did it sound? Baek Jeho and Hyon just helped to see the 500's addiction, because Hyon and Baek Jeho were silent. Seo Munyab said, Why don't you start doing the five rib practice prank now? From today until my 14th day, he will train Hyon. Walker at a United States national team building Korea dormitory and training center. John Kim, agent and manager, was very pleased with Walker's warning. His performance increased drastically after facing Seo Munyob. He changed his shield. Yoon Kim said that after watching him for the past few days, he felt he had overcome his weaknesses. If he could master the series, Gerard might be in the top three ranks. Of course, because this is a big change, Gerald needs more practice. Before he gets used to himself, maybe the world will be quite difficult for his Beck Jeho to overcome a speed-type dealer like Nathan but in the long term it will be very useful. The general asked if he converted this profit into money. 
How much amount Juan replied from that he guessed it might be worth $10 million if Gerald learned the style properly. Maybe he can increase his Bec Jaiho by that much when he renews his contract if you say $10 million. Okay now. Send the $10 million to Seo Munyob. Seo as a game consulting style who heard the words choked up and said what? But he pointed at the picture of Seo Munyob that was showing on TV. He said, I will definitely enter the arena. Wait a little longer. A few days passed after that. Now it's time for Korea's image against the United States in Seoul's International Stadium battlefield. Seo Munyob people have filled the audience seats. They cannot wait to see the result of this match. But what they are waiting for is the hero match. We are shown the players from each country, Hyon, who is the ace card from Korea, whose performance has been eagerly awaited. After changing positions also, Gerald Walker, who was taken down by the United States after changing his shield. The Genji that was used for the match was the ancient palace Underwears, which was protected by the skeleton troops of the pure Marta Palace. And this has three levels. And as for those who are prepared at each level, it is outrageously wild. Are on the first floor Dead Knight, are on the second floor, and Dragon and Leeds are waiting for them on the highest floor. The rules of the game are the conditions to win that is defeating the enemy team. Hunting points will be obtained every time you kill a monster, or one of the enemy players is defeated, the more hunting points you will get. The team can get a bonus or a color will be adjusted to the number of hunting points. After that, the Minot players from both countries entered the arena. After they, Seo Munyab, got ready, the first round started immediately. The American team that was on the first floor encountered the skeleton army. They casually started chasing their moves very skillfully. The mobility of the American team is comparatively slower than the other teams nonetheless, but they pride themselves on a decent defense against an indestructible iron wall after getting stronger thanks to hunting. On the other hand, the Korean team was already moving at an incredible pace the Korean team ignored and avoided the skeleton troops. Bek Yeho, who was watching, thought, Great, good job. Keep running away like that if this plan works. The Korean team will win. The Korean team seems to have a plan. They plan to kill the boss monster first. Very aggressive strategy. The plan was high risk, but if it worked, they would get a lot of frozen hunting. Moreover. Since the first floor would be closed after the boss was killed, they could also mess up the American team's plan in time. The Korean team is now facing the first floor boss, Skeleton Warriors, one of the players from America whose job is to scout to inform other team members that the Korean team is fighting a monster boss. The first wallpaper thus in America changed its strategy. The Korean team was a little bit closer to defeating the boss monster, but when Hyun was about to give the final attack, suddenly Gerard Walker, one of the screens from America, entered, and manually, with one sharp attack, used the power of one of his in-game partners so he could fly in. He was instantly killed after receiving the attack. After Hyun lost, Team Korea's formation was messed up. Even the boss monster was taken by the American team. After defeating the boss monster in America, he immediately slaughtered the remaining Korean teams, so the first half was finished with a score of 11. Zero. Perfect score for Team America. After the new players finished preparing for the second half to start soon, we turned to Hyon, who was walking. He thought again no longer. Even though Uncle had helped him, he couldn't even swim properly. After entering the special room as a resting player, Seo Munyob was already waiting for him. Seo Munyobin said, It looks like you guys Seo Munyob are back, so listen to me carefully. It feels like the eyes will fester after seeing your matches. So listen and quote my orders for the next round as well as I have patience. One of our players was Mr. Beck Jaiho, but immediately cut him off. He said, Shut up. I say this because it looks like I have to fight them with you guys. If it stays like this, it can be seen that you want to take the opportunity quickly, but there are still many drawbacks with that strategy. You have a high probability of losing because your attribute average is too low and you panic when the plan goes awry. With your current abilities, even when fighting them 10,000 times, not even 10 million times you won't win, your chance of winning is 0%. It's really very embarrassing to lose like this because you can do anything right. So listen to me carefully. 
At least I can help you guys kill pure Murata Palace is one dang June that he ever completed with the current president. The raid isn't that hard, but the bones on the third floor are quite annoying, huh? And your current skills will be difficult to reach that floor. So let's forget about that and focus on the matches that just finished. The strategy you used in the first half is not bad. Of course, it only works if you execute it well. First frontline, though, you guys rush to kill the boss monster. You are still obliged to check the condition of the enemy team, even though you want to quickly go to the boss area. But you must keep scouting in the back line, when if the front line is destroyed, you should help the formation. Why are you even stupefied and waiting to be defeated after the menstruation that was killed by Gerard? You lost due to absolutely no resistance because you couldn't even find a basic thing. If you can, people like you are national by the guts. I feel sorry for Beck Jeho. The atmosphere in the room turned dark and full of depression. He continued, yes, because the first half was over. There was no need to talk about it anymore. That's my take on the first half. Now I'm going to be serious, so pay close attention will tell the strategy to be used for the second round. After a while, finally the second half started, the American team immediately split into two teams. It looks like the American priest will use the 65 formation for the second half. Agile reconnaissance techniques could easily clear the hunting grounds, and the cleanup squad, including Gerard, would focus on hunting monsters. This strategy was used to maximize the American Walker level abilities as much as possible. On the other hand, the Korean team ran as before. The Korean team is well known for their defensive strategy, but what's happening right now includes changing positions. This match was full of surprises. Seo Munyob, who was watching the match, thought good. Seo Munyob as well did well if you follow my lead, then opportunity will present itself. This time it will definitely succeed. The American team's scout who was asking in the boss area didn't find the Korean team and immediately reported it, the scout thought. Since this fuel only had one way, the Korean team might try to play the LED game who received the information, thought it looked like the Korean team changed strategy after seeing the results of the first half. At this rate, it was only a matter of time before I saw Seo Munyob because I seemed to be able to try out my new moves on him. While thinking that, Suddenly, right above them, the American cleaning team, the ceiling cracked, then collapsed, and the Korean team appeared there. Although it's great to realize that, he doesn't think the Korean team will come out of there. We go back to a moment ago when the same tell strategy to use. Seo Munyob explained that you will scout first because Hayon is the fastest person. He would go and scout their positions, and if the number of people in Gerald's formation was less than five people. You won't be killing either the monsters or the palace lecturer Martha Boney is a dungeon of one-way streets. This was common knowledge, but this dungeon actually had one other way. It is a secret passage that underwear is built by using warp. It was perfect for reconnaissance and ambush, so Beck Hayan, she would wear this when scouting out later, because the entrance and reactions blending in with normal walls would be hard to tell apart. But Seo Munyob will tell you the way. So don't worry if you use that way you can ambush in America. It is discovered that the eleven of you will be passing through that road by splitting into two squads to launch a direct attack. But the Americans who were hunting at that time, this time, you will attack them from behind, and when he will fight, Hero Walker aim for his feet. Doubted that plan. He asked, isn't Walker known as a solid player? Are her legs really her weak point? Siomunyab continued. That was true because there were several factors that contributed to his weak legs, because Gerald changed to a smaller shield. The area that needs to be protected grows, and its ability as a team garden makes it more difficult. Looking at his current condition, he is still not fully proficient, although he can become proficient quickly even now saying what Cancel does. But the team has a tough mission to win without a single casualty, and in such a situation they will be surrounded by a squad twice their number. They would also be up against a superhuman whose mobility and agility were high enough to the point that any attacking opportunities would definitely be taken advantage of with those various factors. The situation would turn around, so trust me, and follow my lead. Back to the present, the Korean team immediately started their attack before the American team could set up their formation. Looks like the Heian who have received the concentrate are consuming their aura to increase strength. 
One person he and Heian immediately lunged forward past Gerald with teleportation skills. The target was not Gerald, but the American team support player who was behind, according to directly contacting the main team to return immediately. However, even if the main squad returns ASAP, they will arrive in a few minutes. Now the situation is 3-8 because of the winning number the Korean team immediately attacked back who was ambushed, has defended well enough. But because the Korean team managed to break through with their numbers, they sacrificed seven people to kill three players from the American team before Hyeon killed Gerald. In such a short time, the code made by Seo Munyob is amazing. The audience cheered loudly. An unexpected result has occurred. The Korean team has succeeded in killing five members of the American team. Jeho, who was silent, and Seo Munyob, who said, I told you that I will help you to get improvised. The Korean team showed a lot of interesting things in that match. But it's a shame that the Korean team in this round still ended with the victory of the American team if only the Korean team had run away earlier and didn't face the main squad of the United States team last match. Maybe it would have been even more exciting. But the Korean team was faced with a strong team like the American team, able to score five. They had achieved a big hold with those five kills. The moment where they broke through from the ceiling was very astonishing and the center of attention. The amazing match earlier was the ace of the Korean team among the five victims with four victims and one assist. A few moments passed after the match ended, seen being interviewed by a reporter from the mass media. The reporter asked what he thought about this. This time, Baek Jae-ho answered that although in the end the Korean team still lost, Baek Jae-ho believed that this was a valuable experience. Baek Jae-ho's team getting good results against a strong team will push them to be even better. The reporter asked nicely. Then for the next question, the strategy in the second round was quite impressive. How could he have exploded such a strategy? Beck Jeho replied that the strategy was indeed surprising. This is known as a one-way dungeon. He glanced at his sitting Seo Munyob. Beck Jeho said for the second round strategy, it was an aide link who realized Beck Jeho was attached to him when he was interviewing. He thought, he still insisted on taking me to the game. After finishing the fight, he asked, How did you manage to find the hitting performance in the match earlier? What kind of training did you do? He only replied recently, I was training with my uncle. My position change was also Seo Munyob's suggestion. Seeing Hyun say that, he got annoyed again but said, Damn, father and son are both troublesome. Why did they both have to mention me? Park, who was behind Seo Munyob, suddenly moved away from what he said. Park Jintae said, Why didn't you know that Seo Munyob was right? Your habit of getting angry when you feel embarrassed. He stood behind him, answered, What are you doing here, old man? Isn't the president of the association? Go over there and take the interview. Seo Munyob pointed at the reporters who were interviewing Hyon. He replied, I am an old man who likes to work behind the scenes. Why should I take part in the interview? Seo Munyob replied, Yes, you do like that, but why does it have to appear behind me? What do you want to talk to me about this time? Old man said you rude boy has no manners. I'm here because I remember the past. The secret path is only known by the lips of people including you and me. You are the one who made the strategy to burn too, right? Seo Munyab replied, Yes, that's right. To be honest, using a secret passage like that feels like cheating because it's just a sport, not war because the opposing team has a lot of tank-based players. I thought of a guerrilla tactic that relies on team speed. But since I didn't want to go running with them, I gave them a quicker tactic, and sure enough he replied, Well, I hear you've still got his talent right too. I love watching you build traffic after so long. Your talent is too good to waste. But proudly answered, Yes, I am indeed great. Park Jintae's eyes seemed to turn serious. He asked if that talent or not, if you want to use it. Look at Park Jintae's stomach and change. Seo Munyob answered this. What are you talking about, old man? Didn't I win the bet fairly? Park Jintae replied. I promise if you refuse this offer, I will not invite you again. This is the last suggestion, so listen carefully. To be honest, Proliga Korea will start soon. Seo Munyob answered. And then you told me to join the league. Park Jintae said, no, no, I am not asking for such nonsense. Before Proliga restarts, I want to have a charity match with famous players. I asked you to at least play in that game. 
Park Jintae was a bit doubtful about Seo Munyob's answer. He would definitely refuse this offer too. But before answering, he would consider it. Park Jintae was surprised by Seo Munyob's answer. He said, uh, what did you say? Seo Munyob simply replied, your age is like breaking your ears, old man. I said I would consider there is no particular reason for that. But when I saw Hayon's performance in the game earlier, I felt a little curious. Of course, the soap opera is more fun, but it's definitely different from the thrill of fighting. So I guess I'll play along once to pass the time, since Seo Munyob dungeon disappeared, only this place was left for the fight. Hearing Seo Munyob's explanation, Mr. Jim was immediately happy, because he wrapped his wife's hand around Seo Munyob's neck and stroked her head. He said it was true. The mindset is indeed great. Good work. In addition, as soon as the video from the image is uploaded, the audience immediately reaches 10 million in one hour. But before he was still annoyed because of Park Jin Tae's excessive behavior, his neck almost broke because of it. But saying that an old fart like you shouldn't have this much power. Park Jin Tae replied, Ha ha, I got excited when I heard, If you want to come along. He says, I didn't say that I will come. I just said I will consider it. So don't get too boisterous. But still, it makes him happy. Seo Munyob said, But old man, isn't the prolega going on in a bit? Holding a charity match right before the start of the league where the players have to check and maintain their body condition? I feel that you are in a hurry to organize this. He was printed surprised to hear Seo Munyob's words. He doesn't believe it, but knows it. Before proceeding, yes. Let's put that aside for this charity match. If you admit to coming, then I'm just a few broadcasts. I don't know what your conditions are, but if you agree to come along, then I, as the president of the association, will cause everything. Seo Munyob replied, All right then. A few moments passed, we turned to Beck Jae Ho, who was holding a sword. He couldn't believe what was happening to him. Seo Munyob, who was in front of him holding a spear on his shoulder, said, As you can see my conditions, I will be a special guest for this charity match. Originally, with this second life, I will spend my life in watching soap operas, but Seo Munyob stopped his sentence anyway because I joined, I'll try to practice a little. But after seeing the state of the boys being selected for the national team, I don't think I need any preparation. I don't know who taught them, but they are completely useless. Baek Jae-ho was also annoyed that Seo Munyob called the boys useless, even though Baek Jae-ho himself had taught them to study. He said, I'm sorry I ever made them useless. All right, the fact that you just came along is good enough, Baek Jae-ho. But why are you also dragging me into this? Seo Munyob answered, Yes, it's not fair if I'm the only one who dies. Uh, isn't there no good target to hit other than Baek Hayon? So unfortunately, I also need you. I can hear the previous questions, but yeah, don't be too strict in training me. It's been 17 years since I last took up arms. Seo Munyob mocked him a little. He said, you will lose your dignity, Mr. Head Coach, if it's going to be okay. Trust me, you will control yourself until your body returns to how it used to be. Seo Munyoba. Before the match later, the budget answered that I'm still an ordinary 48-year-old gentleman who has been retired for 17 years. While answering, I've never been wrong, bestie, but use the ice open skill to see status. He was already weakened compared to 17 years ago. But if he can get his rhythm back, then none of his former possessions will return. Seo Munyob smiled strangely. He says, from tomorrow we will practice as your body is unable to stand, you understand? Shuddered in pain, seeing Seo Munyob's smile as if thinking. He was looking at the night view of his building. He thought of two conditions from Seo Munyob. The first condition is put him on the same team as Hayan, because Seo Munyob doesn't want to kill him even if it's just a game, and the second is let Beck Jeho join him. He thinks if he of the seven heroes joins back then, all will also like him. After thinking about that, he was going to call someone. News started popping up about Seo Munyob taking part in a charity match. Seven days before the charity match started, Seo Munyob was seen practicing at Beck Jeho's house, even though he kept making the same mistakes. Seo Munyob continued to teach him, even though he was a bit annoyed, it didn't feel like they had practiced for eight hours. But according to Seo Munyob, it was just a warm-up because he was going to watch soap operas. After that, so, Seo Munyob asked Beck Jeho to continue his training. 
Beck Jeho, who was annoyed that he wasn't given a break. He said, hey, you are still the same as before, but I'm 48 now. Take a rest, and you have to go somewhere today, so you won't have time to watch soap operas. Huh, what where? Sometime after that, Seo Munyob arrived at the Korean Battle Association building, but will carry out the avatar test as was done before. Seo Munyob was immediately greeted by the engineering team leader, and also the tenor Brown from the World Association was delighted, asking, didn't I have done this kind of test before? I killed Turban and also fought Gerald, so what else is needed from me? Mr. Yunsu replied that because you made an avatar without completing the measurement of your effective ability first, to find out if there is a problem when making an avatar, we need accurate data about all of your abilities, even if we don't have any problems at the current inflation rate, other than asking if you can get it right. He explained correctly that because the avatar is the mirror of Seo Munyob, Beck Jeho belongs to that player who can even bring out superpowers that no one has awakened at all. In fact, there are many secrets behind the battlefield system. It is a closely guarded secret, even within those who oversee the system. From what he heard, it was a system created using someone's superpower. He said the secret that was left strictly behind was not just a program. It's strange they copied the underground civilization turned serious. He says that's the thing you guys are doing now. Could it be that there were underworkers helping create the association or something? Even if that's true, it's better my Beck Jeho. I hope they can appear in front of me soon. Horrified to see Seo Moon Yobin's personality mixing products like that. After that, they started the test. Seo Moon Yob entered a room alone. Start Strange Dextery and his aura will be measured in that room. Park Hyunsu said, since we have to forget about accurate results to check the consumption level, I beg you to do your best. The first characteristic to do is start, stand 8A measuring device. Measurement will start. As soon as Seo Munyob pulled the handle, Seo Munyob immediately pulled the handle after several tries. The result was around 817 points. Park Hyun Su thinks that for someone who is considered a hero, his strength just means average. Next, they will measure Dexter's start. This is on both sides of the room. There is a button as long as the signal is sounded until you are indicated to stop. Try to press the button alternately. Seo Munyob immediately got ready and started immediately. Park Hyun and Mr. Brown couldn't keep their mouths shut. They couldn't believe a tanker had stock filled that high. After finishing, the score reached 930 points, but Seo Munyob was still not satisfied with his score and took the test again. After the second test, after getting a score of 971 points, Park Hyun Su and Park Brown again asked, What is the highest score for this test? Park Hyun Su Min answered, Ah, uh, there was an incident how someone managed to get 1,007 points on the internal physical test. Seo Munyob asked if it could be Nathan Bernard. Park Hyun Su answered, Do you know him? Seo Munyab replied that Baek Jeho showed him a few videos before because he was going to attend the summer charity match. Seeing him in the video, I was curious because he said he was as fast as Baek Jeho during his old days. But think, there won't be many people who can fast Baek Jeho in his heyday with his one textile start. It's because the system uses points. It's fun to get higher points. And Seo Munyob also took the third test before focusing himself for some reason today. Very, very good condition, and immediately started the test compared to before. Seo Munyob was much faster this time after the impression of being left behind was over. This time it wasn't just Pak Yun's and Pak Brown who gaped. Even Beck Jeho also participated because in the third test, he managed to score 1,007 points, just like Nathan Bernard, the fastest superhuman on the planet. This. Seo Munyob thinks my score with Starlight 97 is less than that messy brat, Baek Jeho, in his heyday, but I can get the same score as him. Looks like I just moved faster than I can. Realizing that, Seo Munyobin wanted to repeat Strange's test again. He wanted to try something after focusing himself. The score this time reached 890 points. It was much more than before, but according to Seo Munyob, it was still not enough. He realized his conjecture just as he had overmeasured his abilities. While believing it was possible, did he become stronger? From then on, thinking it was impossible, there was no change to his ability state when he checked it with Ace's open dialysis skill. 
but he continues to feel for no apparent reason, but suddenly realized that feeling must have come from that time he had felt the same feeling before, when he fought alone desperately in the final dungeon, when he displayed the level of focus of a silver human on the verge of death, his talent will power that surpassed that of a human strengthen other abilities, while believing in such an effect, even though he had no intention of fighting anymore. But with like that, and also the new superpower immortal and the others, he can become even stronger. It felt like he was fated to enter the battlefield. Then they went on with their final test. They will measure the starting aura with a port in front of Seo Moon Yob. After Seo Moon Yob put his calm on the oil and filled in as much aura as possible, the color of the orbit would change. But say here's what's interesting. Now we can measure it much more accurately because Aura's staff is usually determined based on the default stats obtained when awakening. It is one of the most important standards when looking for a good prospect because increasing Aura just from practice would be difficult. Seo Munyob thought his Aura stat was 97 points the first time he checked it, reminded the ice of analysis to gain three points. The rest he tries to meditate on breathing techniques. He's been through a lot of trouble, however, staff his current aura is 100 points, the highest start a human can have. Seo Munyob immediately took hold. OIC and put his aura in. Park Hyun and Park Brown, plus Beck Jaiho considered again for the umpteenth time. The score that Seo Munyob got into this test was 1030 points, while just setting the highest record in human history. Hearing that, Seo Munyob said again, Who do you think I am? The previous record was held by another Seven Heroes member, Miss Saran, with 10-12 points. They had thought the record would never be broken again. But after seeing Seo Munyob's score, Seo Munyob could understand the youngest member of the Seven Heroes. His willpower was trash, but his ego was so high that it made Seo Munyob and him fight each other. If he got to hear this news, he would definitely make a fuss again. That way, Seo Munyob's measurements had been carried out. But he had to tell Seo Munyob something, because of the effects of Immortal, his ability cannot be used in matches. We apologize for limiting one-sided monsters' full capabilities, but the association plans to sound Seo Munyob compensation for that. Hearing that Seo Munyob thought it was fair enough this is indeed a sport that is won by eliminating the opposing team. If he really can't die, he will always win. But saying, I don't care whether you restrict Immortal or not, after all, I also only said that I would do this once, but will gladly accept the money as immortal he will use everywhere. A bunch of people in robes kept on praising him. They were hardline Seo Munyob praisers. After a long time, they waited. Finally, it was time for them to reveal their existence and their will to him. After he finished his training with Bek Jeho, he saw a crowd of people in front of Bek Jeho's house. He asked Bek Jeho what was this? That is... They answered they are Seo Munyob Foundation, a hard girl cult who worships you as a god. Seo Munyob answered, Seo Munyob Foundation? Come to think of it, those nations were also in front of my hospital at that time, right? But why would they make such a fuss by praising someone as a god just like that? Bek Jeho replied that they believe that the world will be on the verge of collapse again, and you will come back alive. At that time, to save someone who was chosen. At first, I also thought they were just crazy, but you really came back to life, and now they want the end of the world. Seo Munyob was very annoyed by that. He said it looks like I have to teach them a lesson. Seo Munyob immediately walked up to meet them. Even though Bek Jeho had held him back, Seo Munyob jumped up and stood before them. Since they arrived in front of Bek Jeho's house, they endured the stop calling out the name Seo Munyob the Savior. The god was now in front of them. Seo Munyob again said, I told you not to make a fuss. They all kept quiet. I now know exactly how you guys feel about me, so stop thinking here. What are you doing out here in broad daylight? Are you unemployed? Who is the leader of the Demon Foundation breakup or what? If that person suddenly dies at the level of his head, it must be my doing. They wonder whether the Savior rejected them. Did they do something wrong? But in the end, they thought the Savior must be testing their faith. And they showed their faith by keeping their eyes on Seo Munyob and calling out his name again. Seo Munyob the Savior. Seo Munyob's patience was at its limit. Seeing Seo Munyob who was like that, Bek Jeho said, Ouch! Seo Munyob said with anger on his face, Ten seconds, 
If you don't leave in ten seconds, I will beat you. Seomunyab immediately jumped into the middle of the crowd and immediately stuck a label in front of him. Bek Jeho, who saw that, tried to stop Seomunyob, but he still couldn't stop him. Ten minutes later, the Parasiman Foundation was scattered and piled up like a small hill. He only warned him. After Seomunyob messed it up, he said, You're the craziest person I've ever met in my life. Thanks for the compliment, but that's them. Why are they making such a fuss by worshipping me as a god without my prior consent? He said, Huh, I should stop talking. I think there will be a lot of reporters coming here, so Dad quickly came into the house. Sio Munyob replied, I just need to finish them off when they come. But the two of them were not aware that from a distance, a person in a black robe was watching them on top of the building, actually out of that person's attention. But when he asked what was wrong, Sio Munyob replied, Ah, uh, no, it's nothing. Some time passed after that, it was time for a charity match at the international airport. Journalists had filled the airport lobby. They were excited because the arrival of American agents. It's been 15 years since the last time he was in Korea. Managed to become the best agent in America because he succeeded in recruiting the strongest superhuman in Korea. But he doesn't regret being a diamond player like Seo Moon Yob, but that's only natural. Seo Moon Yob didn't play Battlefield, and from the start, none of the seven heroes really cared about the sport. Although the seven heroes, the youngest, Suran showed interest, but he stopped after knowing that his willpower was below standard. But the Avatar test video is really shocking. If Ray's existential skills can still be used, the Battle of 1111 will end in just seconds. This time, he intends to take advantage of this opportunity to recruit Seo Munyab. But the reporter's attention was diverted by the arrival of Jackland, a superhuman, immediately approached and said, Let's compete fairly this time as well. As the two of them locked eyes, the reporter's attention was again distracted by the arrival of the Moro brothers. Moro, the club owner from Paris, Lamier Jackland, and the Moro brothers could immediately feel the fierce battle for Seo Moon Yob. But they froze at the sound of approaching heels, untouched. At the Seoul International Stadium where the charity match was to be held, a large number of people came there. Seo Munyob and Baek Jeho got out of the car and walked on the red carpet like celebrities going to an award. Excited Seo Munyob can't wait to play. The audience outside cheered for Seo Munyob walking the red carpet. Yu Hyunsu didn't understand what was so good about this old friend of his. When Seo Munyob was about to say something, the reporters ran to Seo Munyob to ask for an interview. Baek Jeho also pushed Seo Munyob and said that he would leave this to him. Seo Munyob was annoyed that Bek Jeho used him as bait. While being bombarded with questions, the annoyed Seo Munyob swore in his heart that he would kill Bek Jeho. Hearing Shiran's name, Seo Munyob asked the reporter what he meant Shiran from Seven Heroes. The reporter replied that Seven Hero had arrived in Korea today, and Shiran said that he was here to watch a charity game. Out of curiosity, Seo Munyob asked why he had to come and the reporter replied that Sharon said that he came here to meet a kid he knows who will be in a charity game. Seo Munyob also realized that the child he was talking about was himself. Seo Munyob also entered a room. People who saw Seo Munyob passing by were amazed to see the hero in the statue of Gwanghamun with their own eyes and wondered out of curiosity how strong Seo Munyob was. Seo Munyob approached Bek Jeho and asked if he had heard that Sharan had come to Korea. Yu Hyansu didn't expect that Sharan would actually come here. Bek Hayan was excited to hear of Sharan coming to Korea. Bek Jeho grabbed Seo Munyob's shoulder and advised him to be careful. Seo Munyob was getting restless because he did treat Sharan badly the last time. Bek Jeho reminded that Seo Munyob cursed Sharan mercilessly at that time and even made Sharan cry so hard even though he didn't really understand Korean. Starting to feel scared, Seo Munyob asked there was no way Sharan would suddenly fire extinction rays at him in revenge. He hoped that Sharan would forget that after 17 years. At the peak of that era, 17 years ago, superhuman from China, Sharan is a superhuman who was chosen as one of the seven heroes who joined the attack on the final dungeon. The only child from a wealthy family who has extraordinary superpowers. She is strictly guarded by her government, 
and grew up like a queen. But this 17-year-old woman is one of the humans that Seo Munyob hates the most. So Seo Munyob scolded him again and again. Bek Hayon prayed that her soul would rest in peace and said that it looks like Seo Munyob will have a second funeral. But whatever it was, the Dizzy Bek Jeho said to think about it later, since they had something more important than that. Bek Jeho then called the attention of everyone in the room. He said even though they knew how the charity game would go because they had a player who was playing the battlefield game for the first time, he would explain how to play a charity game. The charity game will be divided into two, namely the Love Team and the Hope Team. The members of Team Love were the national representatives, and the members of Team Hope were the selected players among the common players, with the exception of Beck Hayon. But instead, Beck Jeho, who is a representative head coach of the national team, will join the Hope Team as a player along with Seo Munyab. But being a bit nervous, since he hadn't held a weapon in a long time, Beck Jeho begged for his help from his team. The leader of the Hope Team, Park Chulho, laughed and said that they would try harder. Hearing that Seo Munyob thought that they were full of nonsense because even after a long time, Bek Jeho was still much better than them. Looking at Bek Jeho and Bek Hayon's stats, Seo Munyob was sure they would be able to finish off all of their enemies. And as he expected, the rest of the team weren't that great. But suddenly, Seo Munyob was surprised to see a team member named Choi Hyuk, who was clapping. Seeing the skill and the limits of his strength, Seo Munyob believed that he would make a great tank if properly cultivated. Seo Munyob also called Choi Hyuk to come closer. Choi Hyuk then approached and introduced himself as a melee dealer named Choi Hyuk. Seo Munyob, who couldn't believe his ears, asked if he was really a melee dealer. Choi Hyuk answered that he was right and that he was a melee dealer from Sang Sung Spirits. Seo Munyob, who was still unsure, asked if he really wasn't a tank but a melee dealer. Choi Hyuk loudly replied that it was true and said that since childhood he wanted to be a tank like Seo Munyob, but because his body was too small, he ended up becoming a dealer. When asked by Seo Munyob what his superpower is, Choi Hyuk answered loudly that he could focus his aura into a weapon and attack using it. When asked if there was anything else, Choi Hyuk loudly answered none. Seo Munyob thought that even after awakening strength and durability, Choi Hyuk still hadn't realized it. That's why he became a dealer instead. It was obvious that his coach had put him in the wrong position after just looking at his appearance. Seo Munyob also told Baek Hayan to go find a shield. After getting the shield, Seo Munyob told Choi Hyuk to wear it. Choi Hyuk did not understand what Seo Munyob wanted. Seo Munyob then told him how to use the shield. Choi Hyuk tries to convince Seo Munyob that he is a dealer, but Seo Munyob insists on him doing it. The people who witnessed this had heard that Seo Munyob was a little crazy, but they didn't expect that he would be this crazy. He even changed the position of someone he met for the first time. They weren't sure if they would be fine if they teamed up with Seo Munyob. A flustered Choi Hyuk tried to ask Bek Jeho for help, but only turned away and changed his team formation. Choi Hyuk panicked because his coach also ignored him. Since his position was set, Bek Jeho ordered to use the equipment now. Unexpectedly, the armor that Seo Munyob was wearing was light. Bek Jeho said that even though the armor was light, it was as sturdy as the armor they wore during the war. Seeing Bek Jeho's expression, asked if he was okay. Bek Jeho answered that he was just a little awkward because he didn't expect to wear this uniform at all. He then said not to worry about weapons, because they said they had already prepared the weapon Seo Munyob used with some small changes. Looking at the spear he was holding, Seo Munyob thought that they repaired it properly. Bek Jeho heard that they were really thorough in their work. In the end, the spear is a weapon full of history because it has saved the world. Bek Jeho warned not to let Seo Munyob down. He knew that Seo Munyob was strong, but the ones he had fought were only monsters or underworlders. While their opponents are trained to fight humans, although their abilities are slightly lacking compared to other countries, their experience is not lacking. Bek Jeho was sure that they must have more experience fighting humans than the two of them. Hearing that Seo Munyob said that he would remember that and invited Bek Jeho to go, because they had to beat that seasoned junior he was talking about. 
The audience cheered excitedly because the match was about to start. After Seo Munyab checked his opponent while waiting earlier, he realized that it was not without reason that they were made as national representatives. The average ability score of the opposing team is around 70, while his team has an average score of 60. They are better than Seo Munyab's team on paper. But Seo Munyab was surprised that none of them had a particular specialty. Out of curiosity, Seo Munyob asked Beck Jeho how he chose players. He replied they usually test based on several factors and use their numbers to judge it. Seo Munyob also understood that because the method used the sum of scores, there was no way for people with certain specialties to enter. Seo Munyob was then surprised when he saw a member of the opposing team. His overall stats weren't too bad, but his willpower was trash. It made him think that that person probably grew up in a rich family and was always pampered like everyone he knew. While Seo Munyob was thinking, the person rudely called him an old man and asked what he saw. The unsure Seo Munyob asked if he had spoken to her just now. The man remembered the fight between KR versus US. He thought that Seo Munyob was just a fossil from the Underworld War era. He also insulted Seo Munyob because he didn't really know about Battlefield. Seo Munyob also ordered to switch places with his team members. After standing next to the man, Seo Munyob asked him who he was because he seemed to have some grievances with him. Of course, he had his complaints because Seo Munyob was acting all over the place during the A match back then. He said that Seo Munyob looked sick because he acted pretentious, even though he had never played Battlefield. Seo Munyob laughed too. The man asked what he was laughing about and was about to threaten Seo Munyob, but Seo Munyob interrupted and asked the profession of the man's father. After knowing that he was the son of the vice president of the association, Seo Munyob said that his guess was correct. The rich man's son was about to say something, but he was interrupted by an announcement that players were asked to enter the stadium. When Seo Munyob was about to leave, the rich man's son stopped him and asked why he was talking about wealth and asked his father. Seo Munyob replied that he was just curious about what his father did to raise a godless brat like him. Because he grew up in quite harsh conditions, Seo Munyob hated trash like him who grew up with a spoiled mentality. But thanks to this, Seo Munyob became very excited to play Battlefield. Pointing his finger, Seo Munyob called him a bastard and said that he would die. 